Vanakam, Namaste, Namaskar. Uh, let us proceed with the same question uh, which I had done a couple of days back. So it is uh, a question on day's work. As I said, I'm going to split them into uh, uh, small parts so that uh, I can limit the timing of each video. So my total, this question will be done in three parts. So I've done already one, which is one uh, A. Now I am in 1B. Uh, quick recap of what was the question. It was uh, a question on a simple day's work. So I'm not going to repeat all those things. I'm going to just quickly run through what was done last time. So we had seen, uh, we had a couple of legs. Aim was to find uh, known position as well as CMG and DMG, what was done between known to known. I'm going to... Uh, calculate the CMG and DMG of this question in this particular uh, video. So I'm going to leave the known position to the last video. So let us see what happened. This was the different legs of sailing we did. Then we broke each of the legs into delight and uh, departure. And uh, we filled up this table. Uh, there was a small uh, minor difference on the previous video which I, which I showed on the leg number three. I tried to be uh, a little bit more accurate. And uh, if you have seen the previous video, the leg number three, the DLAT was uh, mentioned as uh, 16.8. Uh, so I have just changed it to 16.7. So it's uh, just a small one decimal change. Will not matter much. I did the small tweaking on the calculation. I took traverse table and uh, uh, on a recheck, I uh, had to change it. So please don't bother, it's not a big change. Now, once I made this table, just before I finished the concluded the last video, I just showed you uh, a vertical summation of each of the columns of this delight and departure. So I'm gonna look at that once again. If you calculate vertically, the DLAT of all the not values, you will get a final value, which is I've written as total. Okay, same thing when I do vertical summation of DLAT south, you'll get a value. Similarly, departure east and departure west. Now, these are the values. So when you do a vertical summation of uh, each of the DLATs and departure, this is what you get. Now, you should remember uh, when you did this four legs, you have traveled totally only north by 11.6 minutes, but south you have done various uh, distances. So that is what is your 168.9. Now, what happened finally? You have traveled a little bit north, south and all those things. I have to do the algebraic sum of even this total values. That means uh, totally I have traveled southerly direction as 168.9 but uh, I've traveled north by 11.6. So that means I can do algebraic sum of this also. Similarly, we have not done east of any departure. So that is why it is zero. But we have done all the sailing on westerly courses. So you have a departure, total departure of 263. So when I call it a resultant of this full day's work, you will see 168.9 minus 11.6. 168.9 is the southerly departure and uh, sorry, southerly delight is a larger value. That is why you will get a resultant delight of 157.3 south. And departure is as usual, the whole legs were only westerly. So it is still 263.4 minutes west. So what we have realized from last video is I have found out the resultant delat and resultant departure of the whole day's work by doing a algebraic sum of each of the columns. Now, which means I did the total day's work sailing on various courses, four legs, but eventually as a resultant, what did I do? I did 157.3 minutes southerly delat and 263. 0.4 westerly departure. I'm going to show you in this picture. If you remember, this was the same picture. So basically, effectively, what I have done is I've traveled south by 157.3 minutes, which is called resultant delight. And I've traveled west 
on a resultant departure. This is what is my final result of the full day's work. Now, if you see, I have a resultant delight and resultant departure. That means I can have a resultant distance, which is called DMG, and a resultant course, which is called CMG. I'm supposed to find DMG and CMG. That is what I'm going to do in this video. So what we have done was we have just uh, depicted on a picture what we did uh, on different legs. So my job right now is to calculate DMG and CMG. DMG is a distance and CMG is a course. You can see I again formed a simple right angle triangle on a southwesterly course. And southerly delat is also known and southerly uh, westerly departure is also known. So I'm going to go into my plain sailing formulas again. So these are the two things which I already know. So I'm going to quickly draw a simple quadrantal triangle on southwesterly. This is your DMG. This is your CMG. DLAT I already know, which is 157.3, and departure I already know is 263.4. You can see I have already two sides. So for me, the easiest way to do is go by Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going by Pythagoras theorem. I'm putting all these values. I'm getting an answer of distance, which is DMG as 306.8 nautical miles. So I already got one answer, which I want DMG. Okay. Instead of this, I could have found out the theta, which is your CMG first. And then I could have come to this also. All the same. I chose this method. So I could have done the theta first also. So since I already found out the distance, now let me find theta. Theta can be found out by a couple of formulas, it's the same thing. Now you see in the last slide, I found out 306.8. So the only unknown for me right now is the CMG. So I can use tan theta also, because I know departure and delight. And let us use that formula and see what I get. I get an answer as south 59 degrees, 09.3 minutes west, okay? So I've shown you a format where normally an angle, whenever you use in calculation, you should use in degrees and minutes. But as far as practical life is concerned, I can convert them into decimals also. So I'm going to use one more formula. Let us say cos theta. I could have used cos theta also because I know the delat and I know the distance which I calculated as 306.8. So I'm putting that, again, when I check, I'm getting almost same answer, but this time I'm depicting in two different ways. I'm writing south 59.2 degree west because that point, uh, whatever I got in minutes, if I do a round off, I get 0.2. In other words, if I write in 360 notation, I can get 239.2 degrees true also. So these are the different ways you can project your answer. So what I have done is I've calculated the CMG right now. And I had calculated DMG in the previous slide itself. So let me just depict you on this, uh, the resultant uh, course and distance. I got 306.8 and the course is 59.2 south and westerly. So this is what we found out in this particular module. I'm going to stop it. Why? Because I just want to keep the video small, around 10 to 12 minutes, not more than that. So I'm going to continue this uh, question on the next video, which talks about finding the known position. That is the final aim of this question. So what we have done is we have found out the CMG and DMG in this full uh, day's work problem. I'll continue uh, on the next uh, video regarding finding the known position. I hope uh, it was easy, uh, small videos, as I always say, it makes you uh, sit on the video and uh, concentrate more. You can understand better rather than me making a big video. So uh, I hope it was good and, uh, and easy to understand. I'll catch you soon on the third part of the same question and we'll complete the day's work question. Uh, keep watching Jalpriyag. Until then, Manakam, Namaste, Namaskar.